Hi there, I'm Heather from Stamps by Judith and Heather, and today I want to welcome you to um, our instructional videos for our idea sheets. You will be able to watch one of seven videos and see how each sample on the page was made and other ideas that may not be on the page, just as a fun extra. This is Idea Sheet Video Episode 1, The Fur Branch. The first thing we're going to do on this one, and I'm going to walk you through all the ideas on this sheet plus a few others. The first one is the tree. So the fur branch stamp, let me set this aside, is this guy. To make the tree, and you can see this on the Idea Sheet right here, it's the basic shape for the tree. If you've ever built an artificial Christmas tree, it's the same principle. The stamp pad that we're going to use is a Hunter Green ink pad. I'll take, I'm going to stamp it four or five high. And it doesn't matter if it's a little wobbly because when you fill it in, it's going to look correct. The bottom branches stick straight out. The next branch is at the next intersection, tilt up a bit. The next intersection, up a little bit more. You do not want to put branches coming out of the very top because you'll round your tree off and make a shrub. So then what I do is come back and work one side of the tree at a time. And the reason for that is if I'm flipping back and forth, I will forget to flip one and have the stem sticking the wrong way. As I go up, I'm tilting my branch in so my tree tapers to a point, stamping multiple times so I get dimension in my tree. Again. And there's your basic tree shape. You, can, you can't really tell where it was a little crooked, so it blends in set my hunter green ink aside and ink pads you can always store upside down to keep them freshest. To clean your stamp just blot it off on a damp paper towel. To put my lines on here for my wires it's a fine line pen and I just scribble my wire on there first. If I do the lights first I get too uptight thinking I have to connect every light bulb and it doesn't look as natural. The first thing we need to do is make sure our wires work. And we're going to plug it in with a little outlet stamp, a little plug stamp. Clean it off. And then I'm going to take my little solid light bulb and a rainbow ink pad. Snap it together. The lid only fits when they're apart, like that, but for the rainbow purposes, I'm going to push it together. I'm going to take my little light bulb, stamp it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And there is my star for the top of my tree. Then I'm going to stick lights all over the tree. Not everyone has to be hitting a wire. We get the idea. I'm going to clean it off. Switch to the next color. Clean it off again. One more color. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to add to the tree is the dots for atmosphere and background. There's the little dots. I'm going to use them in blue and I'm going to just kind of zigzag them back and forth, stamping them off as I go. If you find yourself stamping them too heavy the first time, stamp 
the first generation off and start with the second generation of ink. The next thing I'm going to show you in episode one is how to make the wreath with the fir branch. Again, back to the hunter green ink. And there's my fir branch. You will notice it has just a little bit of a curve to it. And I'm going to follow that curve going around in the circle. There's my basic wreath shape. Then to fill it in and stop it from going in a continual direction, I'm going to turn my fir branch around and go back on top, filling in the gaps going the opposite direction. There's my wreath. Now I'm going to decorate it with some pine cones. There's a pine cone stubby and brown ink. Put little clusters of pine cones. that. And then I'm going to come over here back to my rainbow ink. And we want to add some bold leaves. Just to give it a dark pop. Okay, one more there. So there are my leaves. I'm going to add a little pop of red with these little three dots stamp. You don't want to use the three dots for the atmosphere. It gets too patterned, but it's great for holly berries and flower centers and things like that. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my stubby dots. in blue, soft touch, and there are my dots, and then the last thing for just a little bit more atmosphere is this snowflake stick, and I'm going to do that in blue stamping several times. And there is your wreath. The third thing on the idea sheet that I'm going to show you is the garland. And these, again, are all with the fir branch. The hunter green ink. And take my fir branch and loop it. And then I'm going to turn it around. Going the opposite direction. Again, fills it in. And there's your garland. And then to decorate it, I'm going to take a poinsettia stamp. And I'm actually going to blend a little bit with my rainbow ink pad. That's the poinsettia stamp, but I'm going to take and stamp it multiple times so I get a bigger flower. You want to do things in odd numbers. So there's my larger poinsettia flowers. But we want to carry the color a little bit so it's not so isolated. So I'm going to use this little brush flower stick and just add a few little flowers here and there to help pull the color around. I'm going to take this fade out leaf and add the dark green pop. Okay. 
and then the stubby dots in blue. And there's your garlic. The fourth idea on episode one is this garden using the fir branch. And to do that one, take and tear a piece of paper and use the irregular edge on your fir branch. And just stamp fir branches varying the heights. Take it away and you'll have your ground line. Now I want to make this pop just a little bit, so I'm going to take my Tombow watercolor markers and add a little soft mossy green and just little dashes and then make it pop a little bit with some blue. This is sort of a soft um, purpley blue. And then we want to make this anchored to the ground. So just a soft teddy bear brown underneath. So there's my garden line colored. And I'm going to take two little stamps, these sticks. And I'm going to start off with the flower. This is the stick solid flower. I'm going to stamp it multiple times before I re-ink. Like and then I'm going to take this little snowflake stamp, start in yellow. I'm going to blend a little bit between the yellow and the red. I'm just going to take and tap it up and down. And get some little bright flowers in there. Clean that off. I'm going to stay with the same stamp and go to blue. Tap them. And then I'm going to take the same stamp and by simply squashing it harder to the page, I get a whole other flower out of it. And then the last step is to take the dots in blue and add the atmosphere. Segment 5 of episode 1 is the corner right here and again using the fur branch we have our fur branch hunter green ink. And what I'm going to do is stamp two going one way and remove the fuzzy And two going the other way, and then turn the stamp around, and there's your corner. Now I'm going to take a little solid balloon, my rainbow ink pad, and then turn, take my solid balloon, spig it down its balloon. Spig it up, it's an ornament. I'm going to take my balloon and do three little balloons. Take my fine line pen, put a couple loops on each side of the spigot. Line going up. You want to tie them to your branch extra string if you'd like. And there's your ornaments hanging from your branch. And then back to the dots. And there's a simple corner or if you continued around all the way in a square you would have a frame. The last idea on this sheet 
is your snowflake. And that's maybe thinking a little outside your box. I'm going to take my rainbow ink pad, slide it together, make sure I've cleaned off my fur branch, and bounce it between the blues and the purples. Basically, I'm going to start off stamping one up and one down, and then turn them crisscross so it's kind of like a plus sign or a cross. Fill in the gaps. And there's your snowflake. Give it a little bit of extra snow with your dots. And a few baby snowflakes with the snowflake stick. And that's thinking a little outside the box, but giving a different twist to the fir branch. That's everything that is covered on the idea sheet for episode one, but I wanted to show you a few other fun little ideas using a few of these stamps. One of them that I'm going to start off doing is the pine cone. I'm going to take my rainbow ink pad. And I'm going to stamp in the blue and purple. I'm going to have the little pointy part of the pine cone point in. Clean it off. Switch over to the red and the purple. Turn it around so the pointy part of the pine cone is out. And there's two flowers. We're going to grab this little um, carved leaf stamp. And there's your flowers. Then we're going to take the same carved leaf stamp and stamp it in the blues and purples. And this works best when you don't think about trying to line everything up. Or I should say not the blues and the purples, but the reds. Get that. Same leaf a little line in the middle and there's your butterfly out of the leaf. Thanks for watching this episode of our idea sheet instructional videos. Be sure to go to our website at stampsbyjuth.com and check out other cards, ideas, and videos and see what else you can create with what you have of our images. Thanks!